Hi all. In this lecture, we will see about abstract class. So abstract class. So it is actually a blueprint for other classes. That is, we will declare some methods in the class, and these methods should be implemented in its subclasses. So this happens because we want to declare some mandatory methods that should be there in the children and the child classes. Then what we have to do is we will be declaring those things in the abstract class. We will mention that this method should be there. These all methods should be present in the child classes. So that is so this is actually a blueprint for other classes. So it allows you to create a set of methods that must be created with any child classes built from the abstract classes. So from this abstract classes, if we inherit from child classes, then all those classes should uh, contain these uh, methods. So a class which contains one or more abstract method is called an abstract class. And an abstract method is a method that has a declaration but does not have an implementation. So we will have only the declaration inside the abstract class. The yeah, abstract method will contain only the declaration. The implementation part will be missing. So the actual method will be implemented in the child classes. So when we want to provide a common interface for different implementations of a component, we use this at abstract class. So we will see an example. For example, we have a class called Polygon. So we have a class called Polygon. Now we have a method inside this Polygon. We call it as number of sites. There will be uh, some sites for that Polygon. So we have define a method number of sites. And we simply mention as pass. That is, we are not uh, providing any implementation in this class. So we have a class Polygon and we have defined a method number of sites and we have simply mentioned as pass. Now, now we are try to create an object for that class. So we are creating an object for that class and if you want you can call that function uh, method also number of sites. So you can call using this uh, object dot this thing and now we will save it. Now, if you run it, uh, number, okay, uh, sorry, so we have to give uh, self here. So, if you run it, there is no error at all. So, we have defined one method inside this thing. We have a method inside this, but we can uh, we simply call this since it is passed, the, nothing is there. Okay, so this is a simple class. Now, actually this is not an abstract method because we don't have any class inside, uh, we have, don't have any uh, uh, any other class, we have only a single class. Now, if you want to include uh, some other class, for example, for uh, to make this an abstract class, this is an ordinary class. So to make this an abstract class, what we have to do is we have to import ABC. From ABC, you have to import abstract base class ABC comma abstract method okay so we have imported this thing now in order to make this an abstract base class base class we have to give in a brackets ABC polygon ABC now new to make this an abstract method so what you have to do is you have to make it ambassador at, at the rate abstract method. So this is now an abstract method. So this is an abstract method. Now if you try to do this same operation, you will run this. So if you run this, you can see that there will be an error. There is an error because we cannot instantiate abstract class polygon with abstract mod, uh, methods number of sites. 
that is we cannot create an instant of this object we cannot create this instant because we have an abstract method since we have an abstract method we cannot so this is an abstract class now so we cannot create an object for that thing. okay so in order to access this thing so we should have some child classes in order to access that thing so if you want you can so if you want to access it so i am defining another class triangle triangle and which is inherited from polygon which is inherited from polygon and i define a method the same method number of sides number of sides okay number of sides and you can simply mention as pass also there is no problem now i am creating a object for triangle i am creating an object for triangle and i am printing this thing now you will see run this and you can see that there is no error at all so there is no error okay now if i want i am just changing it to i am printing it as print print i have three sides i have three sides okay now i am printing this thing now if you run this thing so this will get printed i have three sides so what we have done is we have created an abstract method here and we have uh, we have defined another class triangle which is inherited from this polygon so this should have the definition since we have met, uh, we have included an abstract method in the parent class this child should have a method number of sides and we should do something inside that thing if you want you can avoid but there should be a definition for that thing. and if you want to include another uh, like a pentagon you can have another class called pentagon pentagon and in that class also sorry pentagon and you are trying to import from polygon you know, inherit from that thing now it should also that class should also have the same it should have the same thing uh, inside this thing uh, i have pentagon since it has five sides should be there then you can uh, you can include any any number of objects for that thing be equal to for pentagon for pentagon then you can call that uh, method okay so we get a uh, higher three sides and high i have six sides will be printed so in this way we can use abstract method so if we have an abstract class then all the abstract methods will have only declaration inside this so we'll have only declaration inside this and if you want to have uh, the, all the definitions all the implementation will be in the all other children child classes so this is done because in many applications we need to define certain methods that should be present in all the child classes for example the number of sides in this case it's a polygon or every polygon will have this method number of sides so we are defining it in the base class or the parent class number of sides now whoever inherits whichever child inherits from this class should contain that function or that method number of sides because every polygon all the subclasses all the subclass of polygons it may be a pentagon it may be hexagon it may be quadrilateral everything will have this method number of sides so here we have method and abstract method so all the child classes should inherit that thing so this is known as abstract class so this contains this is an abstract class so we have to include we have to uh, we have to get that abc 
So we have to include that ABC inside this bracket, then only it will become an abstract base class. Okay. Now I'll show some other examples. So this is another example. So we have imported this thing, ABC and abstract method. So this is an uh, animal class is there. So this is an abstract base class which, which contains an abstract method. And all the animals will have move something. A method should be there, move. And we have not defined anything here. It is just a pass here. Now if it is human, if it is human, it is also inherited from animal. So it should have move. And uh, we are printing sim, I can walk and run. Then there is snake, which is also an animal, which is also inherited from animal. And we have to define that abstract method. Here, print I can scroll. So the, all the implementation of move will be there in the child classes. Now we are creating an, we are trying to create an object for, for animal. So animal is an abstract class. So if you try to create an uh, object for that animal, so it will return an error. So can't instantiate an abstract class. We cannot create an uh, object for the parent class. So if you want, you can create for other classes. If you want, you can create for lion. So if we create for lion, then everything, what is there, uh, you can, uh, there is no error. And if you want to use that method, you can simply type C. C dot uh, move. So if you print that ring, you can see that icon drawer will be printed here. So this is an abstract base class. So this is an abstract animal is an abstract class. All the children which are inherited from this class should <coughs> contain that abstract method move. <coughs> then another example I will show. Mm. This is another example. So this is another example. We have an abstract base class here. Uh, uh, the name of that class is abstract class example. Then we have a constructor inside this thing, which sets a value. <coughs> okay. Then we have an abstract method here. So we have an abstract method here. So this abstract method so inside this abstract base class, there is a constructor as well as an abstract method here. So do something is abstract method and inside that it is passed. We have not be, uh, implementing anything here. Now we have another class which do add 42, uh, which is inherited from abstract class example. So this class should contain this do something. Do something method should be there. And here, which uh, it is simply returning the value plus 52. Whatever value we input, it will be added to that thing. Then do mul 42 is there. What it does is it will simply multiply the value with 42. So here we are creating two objects. One is uh, x and another one is y. And we are giving our value 10 here. Our value 10 is given here. So what happens is, this constructor will be initiated. So this constructor will be initiated and this value will be assigned to that value. Then you just print this thing x dot do something and y dot do something. So if you run this code, you can see that both that statements will be executed. One will be adding and the other will be multiplying. So we are simply multiplying. Uh, one will be 10 plus 42 will be done and the other thing uh, 10 into, uh, then 52 will be there, 52 into 10 will be there. So this way we can uh, use this abstract class. Uh, I'll show on one more example. So we have an abstract class example here, then we have an abstract method here, do something and some implementation and we are spending a statement here, do something, some implementation. Now, we have another class which is inherited from this abstract class example. And we have to include this method. Since this is an abstract method, the definition, the complete definition should be there or the implementation should be there. And inside this, what we are doing is 
we are using the super method uh, to call this do something. That is, this will be called first. So some implementation will be printed first. After that, this statement will be printed. The, enrich the enrichment from another subclass will be printed. So we are creating an object X for this class. And then we are calling this do something. So when this is this method is called, do something method is called, it first invokes this method. And after that, this statement will be printed. So if you run this thing, you can see that. So some implementation will be printed. So this is actually the print function inside the abstract class. So in this way, you can access the things in the abstract methods also. In the abstract methods, if you want to print those statements, you can use this super to access the print class. Okay. So that's all about uh, abstract classes. Thank you.